Welcome to another podcast of the current situation Manchester United. Manchester United will play against Manchester City in the community shield come tomorrow. Now this is um, a game where Manchester United, I believe in my opinion, can win this game. And I'm going to tell you why they can win in this game. So, yes, we're going to play against Man City because we won against them in the FA Cup. And I believe that is grounds for us to win tomorrow. Now, yes, it's a new upcoming season. I know that, but um, we have shown what we are capable of doing, even against our strong Man City side, which we played against in May in the FA Cup final. So there is no excuse for us to use for us not to win the game tomorrow. Now, let me say this. This is not the Champions League final. This is me. So I'm not going to be I'm not going to be over the moon if we win the community shield. It's not about that. It's it's what prepares you for the upcoming season because the Premier League starts in what six days or seven days or something. It just starts in a week, so seven days. And to win a community shield is good for building morale it prepares you it gives you confidence for the upcoming season is me so you could say that the community shield as a whole doesn't hold the same weight as the premier league because it doesn't it's a charity shield but regardless this is a game that we can win to build morale and prepares us for the season is me so yes in the past yes i'm a hypocrite yes in the past i have bashed community shield winners say man this 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 prestige is not anything big it's not a big it's not a big trophy to win but being a hypocrite that i am i'm going to about manchester united tomorrow to win it because i believe like i just mentioned it builds morale it builds confidence and it just gives you something to come to go into the season you know what i mean it just gives you something like, it just gives you confidence, man. Because, again, this is the best Man City. This is the best side in the country in terms of the Premier League, Man City. And they have won the Premier League consecutive four times. I will beat them in the, in, the, in, in the FA Cup final. So, yes, I believe we can beat Man City to come tomorrow. Now, here's the thing. We have a few injuries that we have to keep up with. We have a few injuries. Yes, we have injuries. So first, um, Har Maguire is a possibility he's coming back from an injury. And everything has expressed that there is a possibility that Har Maguire will be a feature. He'll be featured in tomorrow's game. Also, Xerxes could be fully featured in tomorrow's game. I'm not sure if he's going to be starting, but he'll be featured in tomorrow's game. Um, anything else? Hmm, Hoyland is out with injury, so he can't play in the game because of his injury. So that means, who else we have injured? Uh, let me check. Um, okay. So yes, I believe Luke Shaw is injured as well. I don't even know how this Virginia is injured, but when he's playing for England, he's not injured. So... <clears throat> Yeah, man, we can beat we can beat Manchester City. You know, we have the players to beat Man City. We have shown that we can beat Man City. Now, being as being the petty person that Pep Guardiola is, he's gonna try comes with all guns blazing tomorrow, and it's not going to be any, anything surprising because he's lost the FA Cup final against us. So of course, to avenge the loss that he lost, the game that he lost in May, he may want to come out. With his big guns tomorrow, De Bruyne, Haaland, Rodri. Wait, is Rodri back from um his celebrations after winning the Euros with um Spain? I'm not sure, but he's a he's a well. This is not me giving you the the, the, the middle finger, but he's a crucial player for their system. Rodri is what Sergio Busquets was for Pep Guardiola's for Pep Guardiola's Barcelona back in its heyday. So him missing out could be a loophole in our advantage. And we have to take advantage of that. So if he doesn't start tomorrow, then yeah, we have a, I mean, it beats, we still beat them <laughs> with, with Roger in me, but he's not going to make no difference. But him missing tomorrow is going to definitely, 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 definitely boosts, boost our confidence into going in this game because we can win against them. So yeah, Pop Goal is going to actually look into winning the game against us tomorrow. So we have to actually try to do our best and beat Pep Guardiola again in the community shield. Now, 
um i'm getting a bit distracted okay so manchester united let us let us evaluate the squad because we don't have, some of us don't even know who is going to be starting tomorrow Onan will be starting tomorrow, and this is going to be me giving my starting of right now. And if you have been watching up until this point, leave your comments down below in the comment section. You're starting in 11s. Like and subscribe to the channel if you're a Manchester United supporter. And if you're in football supporter, man, subscribe either way. I don't just make Manchester United content. I make all type of, all types of content, man. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. Your subscription is going to be valid either way. So in goal we have Andre Anon. I'm not sure if this virgin has improved his goalkeeping, but speaking of goalkeeper, hold on. David De Gea has signed for Fiorentina in Syria. Ah, oh, this virgin went 15 months without a club. Again, this virgin finished his Manchester United career winning Golden Glove for his club Manchester United and he left Manchester United and he was never heard again in terms of football he never played football now he has a club in Fiorentina Fiorentina is a very good goalkeeper now I've said that David De Gea has declined and, uh, and he has declined and uh but to, to let him go cut yeah, to let to let us to you know let him go you know cold turkey you know 15 years back 15 months back i wasn't feeling that from everything i should have kept him at least as a secondary goalkeeper or maybe it wasn't it was a conflict of interest where he didn't want to be a second goalkeeper to someone like anana which i don't blame him but if that's the case that, that the reason why he left then you know big ups to him but either way he signed for fiorentina no back to the starting level andre and in goal right back I believe Dalo will be starting at right back, which is the right choice. Center back, which is what I've been beating on in the in the early uh, moments of this video, talking about center backs. I believe Har Maguire will start tomorrow along with Lissandro. Is Lissandro Martinez? Yeah, I believe he's back. Yes, he's back from his celebrations after winning the Copa America with Argentina. And Ganacho, although he didn't feature in any of the Argentina games. Um, so Martinez and Maguire, I believe, will be the starting center box come tomorrow. Left back, I just mentioned Luke Shaw is possibly out with an injury. I don't even know how this bridging got injured. Probably he was eating some Big Mac and he got injured himself. But based on what I'm seeing, he's in, he's out with injury. So that means this young bridging name, Ama, Amia, I don't even know what his name is. Um, give me a second. We'll be starting left left back. So we could be playing some inexperienced youth at left back. Okay, so it says here Luke Shaw is doubtful and Tyrell Lama Lamasia. Tyrell Malasia is still out injured. This Belgian and injuries. The seventeen year old Harry Amos, that's the guy I'm talking about, could make his senior team bow for the club. So he could be a starting prospect for tomorrow's game. In midfield, you know, this is where things get a bit um, tricky, as I've mentioned in previous videos. I'm expecting Casemiro to be the cap not only the captain, no, not, not captain, he won't be the captain, which means Bruno Fernandes will be playing. Will be starting and playing, of course. Casemiro will be starting in the midfield along with Kobe Mino. Kobe Mino and Casemiro. Will be starting in the midfield with Bruno Fernandes as number ten. On the wings, I'm not. I'm dude. I'm not expecting Anthony to be nowhere near that starting level. Okay, I'm, if you're backing Anthony to start, bless your heart. I don't even know how you think this guy is going to start on the wing. He's not going to start about uh, ahead of Rashford. He's not going to start ahead of Ganacho. He's not going to start ahead of Ahmad Diallo. And he's not, definitely not going to start over Jadon Sancho. That's four quality wingers in their different in their own rights. So that leaves Anthony in, in, in uh, at, as the eighth ball. He's not going to have a placement tomorrow in that game unless he comes on for I don't know twenty minutes in the game. If if he gets even twenty minutes, I'm not even expecting him to get no sniff for the game tomorrow. But if he gets asked for the game tomorrow, I'm not expecting him to even start or even play 
most of the most of uh, the, the game minutes, man. Are you giving get game minutes time tomorrow? So I'm expecting Rashford to be. Now here's the funny thing. I'm wondering, going back to what I just said, Holland, Holland is out with injury. Xerxes is, is not going to be starting. Um, is Rashford going to be featured as a striker tomorrow? Or is he going to play on the left wing? And if he does play on the left wing, who is going to be the main, the, the, who is going to be the focal point up top? Is everything Hog going to use Jaden Sancho as a false nine? That could be a possibility. Or is he going to use Bruno Fernandes as a false nine tomorrow? Those are possibilities. So, this is where everything on can flex the squad and see who can play in the stead of Hoyland when Hoyland is injured. And when Xerxes is a doubt for tomorrow's game. But seeing that this is not, a, you know, a, I'm not betting on anything, so I'm not losing money or even getting gaining money. You know, I can't say give my opinion either way. I'm expecting... Um... I'm expect I'm looking I see Rashford starting as a striker tomorrow, unfortunately. Um we know see Rashford is not. No, Rashford came out of the academy as a striker, but I I be, that striker's instinct in him has died down during the years when he was under Mourinho and Oligon and Soshkar. So he, he he doesn't have that awareness that he used to have back then. So but he's gonna I believe he'll be playing as a striker tomorrow, is me. And we know say he's not good with his back turn to goal. And yeah, we just know that he he doesn't he's not an out and out traditional number nine, like a Hoy not like a Holland or a Hoyland for that matter. But I see him like, I see him starting a striker tomorrow. Man, man I spend so long on this. Alma Diol on the right wing and Jaden Sancho on the left wing. Mm hmm Jaden Sancho on the left wing, Alma Diol on the right wing. Um, with Rashford up top, so run it over. Anana, Dalo, Maguire, Lissandra Martinez. This young left back name Amas, midfield Casemiro, Cobb Minor, Bruno Fernandes. Front three Rashford as a striker, Sancho as a left winger, Amadou as a right winger. Leave your comments below in the comment section. My cup, my uh, my scoring prediction, and leave your scoring predictions as well. Is that we beat <laughs> yes we're going to beat man city tomorrow we're going to beat man city tomorrow one nil mm -mm, I, I think nah now nah, this is going to get it's going to be a, a game of goals so i'm expecting us to beat them 2-1 yeah yeah 2-1 yeah I'm, I'm expecting them i'm uh i'm expecting manchester united to beat man city 2-1 yeah, I'm on my high horses today, all right. But I'm being positive, bro. We can beat Man City tomorrow, bro. Is me? I'm not. I'm not moving like no, 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 no fearful person. Man. We can beat Man City tomorrow, and we will. Two one is my prediction. Leave your predictions, though. Hey, if you have a loss in Manchester United favor, say say it regardless in the comment section. It doesn't matter. Leave your comments in the comment section. Um. Yeah, man. I see Man City losing tomorrow, bro. You know why be fearful? This is just a community shield game, and like I said, we can we we should look on the community shield like our preparation for the upcoming Premier League season. You see me? It's it's like you're going out, you see, and you 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 order a three course meal. What the community shield is to the Premier League, the appetizer is to the main meal. The main meal. It prepares you for the main meal. It opens your appetite for the main meal. So that is what the community shield is basically to football, man, in the Premier, in the sense of the Premier League. You, you win the FA Cup. You win the FA Cup. Well, you win the FA Cup because to win to win to play in the community shield, you have to win the FA Cup or win the Premier League. You win the FA Cup. You get a placement in the community shield. Or you win the Premier League, and, you, and you, of course you're in the community because you win the Premier League. You win the FA, they win the Premier League now, and it gives you an, uh, it builds momentum as well, you know. 
it just gives it, it, it just it to be positive man gives you a positive vibe builds morale for the upcoming season so of course this is not the champions league final as i've stated but it still prepares you for the upcoming season bro is me man city can be got gotten at and i'm not saying we should go go on, uh i'm not saying we should play attacking football and, 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 and get skin tomorrow i'm not saying that but i'm saying there is a proper way to go about it as we did back against them in me in the fa cup final is me so yeah like and subscribe to the channel but i'm gonna finish it right there so your comments down below in the comment section like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell as well so that you can be notified on each upload yeah my prediction again is 2-1 in the favor of manchester united again if you have the prediction of a 5 nil loss to manchester united leave it in the comment section below leave it in the comment section below if you if you feel some manchester united go win against man city 5 nil. i don't know where you get that optimism from but leave your comments below in the comment section either way like and subscribe to the channel I'm out.